Today I want to show you a cheats recipe for that infamous Greek walnut cake, that syrupy deliciousness called karidopita. The cheat is going to be this. It's going to be one of these ready-made cake mixes. It's the, the one you're looking for is a spice mix and it just basically says spice cake on it. Any brand will do, any type, but this is what you're looking for. Now, you're going to prepare this in the same way that the box instructions tell you. And the difference being, we're going to add chopped walnuts to this and, of course, that super delicious syrup. So, to get things going, first things first, I'm going to put uh, my pot on here. We're going to start off like any caridopita with a simple syrup that's flavored. So, I'm going to do two cups of sugar. And I'm also going to do two cups of water. I'm going to take one cinnamon stick, throw it in there, and I'm just going to take the rind off without taking too much of the white. The white is the bitter part, so I'm just going to do it really, really carefully. I'm going to toss this in there. I'm going to let my syrup come to a boil. Let it simmer for five minutes and it's ready to go. There's nothing to this. The next thing, now, I'm going to preheat my oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 160 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going. That way we can work on our cake. Now, the cake, it doesn't get much easier than this. You're going to take the mix and, like I said, prepare it as per the instructions. Now, once we've added all of our cake ingredients, you're going to simply mix it up as you would any other box cake. So the next part of this is greasing my pan. I'm using a 9x13 pan. You can use square, you can use round, whatever, uh, whatever you have. All right, my cake batter is pretty much mixed. There's one more step to this. Let me just check on my syrup here. And it's just almost ready to come to a boil. And just make sure it just doesn't catch on you. And that's perfect right there. Now, I've pre-grated some walnuts. And this is key to this recipe here. I'm using one cup of chopped walnuts. Very simply, I'm just going to take this, throw that in there, put it in there, nothing complicated. Boom, that's done. Lock and load and give this a mix for like a minute. Just enough to get the walnuts incorporated in the batter. At this stage, you may also want to just give your bowl a quick wipe just to Scrape the sides here, get all this goodness out and into your kind of mixing area. So just do that real quick. Now let's get this here. And just pour it in here. Our, uh, our simple syrup as well. Our syrup is now simmering, come to a boil, which is exactly what I want. So now our caridopita will bake for 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees. And at that point, start checking 
doing the toothpick test. And if your toothpick comes out clean, you're ready to go. All right. My caridopita is absolutely ready. My cheese caridopita. Let me just double check to make sure. We're going to doing our toothpick test. All the way through. Clean as a whistle. We're ready to go. Now, this thing took exactly 30 minutes. It is, the aroma is absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. The next trick now is adding our syrup to this that we made earlier. But before I do that, I want the syrup to permeate right through the whole cake. So I'm just going to take and just throughout my caridopita, just punch little holes with your toothpick throughout. And this will help the syrup get down throughout and distribute evenly. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to take a spoon and just get rid of this. I know I need my lemon peel or the, or the cinnamon. And I'm very simply just going to pour this slowly. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely perfect. And the whole trick to this is hot, hot cake, cool syrup. Just go nice and slow and let it, uh, let it absorb all this goodness. It may seem like a lot of syrup, but it's really not. Absolutely awesome. That's perfect right there. Now, I'm going to just sit here and cut a piece. I want you guys to see this. I want you guys how to see how delicious this is. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into third pieces. Then from here, just divide and conquer. So you're going to do a cut down the middle here. And you're going to do another cut in half of that. I'll make some smaller pieces here. Usually the first piece screws up the pieces beside it, but, oh, oh yeah, look at that, look at that goodness right there, that is absolutely fantastic. Now once this cools a bit, the, the weapon of choice is also some vanilla ice cream on this, nice and light. Aroma is definitely there. Look at this. Oh my God. Mm. 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 Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. It tastes just like a Calidopita with a third of the work. Matter of just Mixing in the, the cake batter, the, the ready-made box cake batter. All you really need for this is the spice cake mix. That's it. You do the syrup, add some walnuts, and boom, you've got a Cheats Caridopita. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. For this written recipe, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. Much love, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.